So this is how your berry flavored yogurt is made. Look, look Greetings fam and welcome to my channel. My name is Lady Becky and on the menu today I'm going to show you three different ways to sweeten and flavor your favorite store-bought plain Greek yogurt without the guilt of packing on any sugars. So come with me and let's do this. So for the ingredients, you will need a tub of natural Greek yogurt, okay? In my hands here, I've got the Onkin brand. I also have a leftover um, amount from another brand that I got from Lidl. Actually, I found that to be a lot milkier than the Onkin brand, which you can get from Lidl or Aldi, okay? And then followed with, followed by my sweetener. For the sweetness, I've got three different types of sugar alternatives. The first one I just showed you is called stevia. Then there's erythritol, and then the last one is xylitol. These are the three types of sugars that I, I mean sugar alternatives that you can find in my kitchen. For more information on the things to shop for in order to start your keto diet, please press the link. I've got a separate video on that. Next is my fruits, which I'm going to use to flavor the yogurt. Okay, on the ketogenic diet, berries, all sorts of berries, blueberries, red berries, raspberries, strawberries. These are the best fruits to go on because they have very little amount of sucrose or sugar content in them. I normally get the frozen versions because they are easy to keep and they last longer. Uh, you can get these frozen versions in Asda, Lidl, Aldi, any shops in the UK. And obviously, wherever you are in the world, try and look for these fruits, whether frozen or fresh, you can use them. So in my cereal bowl, I poured an amount, generous amount of the mixed berries in there. And then I added about three tablespoons of my xylitol and placed it in the microwave for it to simmer. Okay. For it to come to, you know, to be heated up. And because it's been frozen, the water content in the fruit actually works well by providing the moisture that it needs to boil in the microwave. So as you can see, it's been sitting in the microwave for about two minutes and it comes out so nice. So I've got as much juice as possible sucked out of the berries and mixed together with the sweetener that I had put in. All right. And I'm, I'm actually helping to get more juice out of the fruit by pressing it with my wooden spoon. All right. And then afterwards, it's going through the sieve just so that I can get the smoothness working i don't want any fruit particles in there because yours truly doesn't like the fruit particles in his yogurt right so i have put the syrup on the side and now here we go the magic begins if you're new to my channel and want to see more of such contents please consider subscribing so that anytime i upload a new video you can be among the first to be notified. All right, so as you can see, I have three dessert bowls filled with plain natural yogurts, and I'm going to give you the three flavors as promised, okay? So flavor number one, I would like you to suggest a name for it. But in the meantime, I'm calling it mixed berries syrup flavored yogurt. That's quite a long name for it, but give it a, a fanciful name for me. Okay, right. I've poured the syrup over two of my dessert tubs, but I'm going to show you what I'll do with the second one very soon. Okay, but look at how beautiful that first flavor turned out. Very lovely pink and as you can see it's summertime we're in the season of strawberries look at that that big box of strawberries for just three pounds in tesco so go grab yourself a deal right so on there i've just chopped some fresh strawberries over it and that's done 
For my second flavor, I'm using the, the chaff of the syrup that I put aside. Okay, because I like the fruit bits in mine. So that's exactly what I am doing. Just to mimic what you would normally get in the Mueller brands, okay? But this one is without the guilt of adding the sugars. Okay, the third one is coconut and nuts. It's kind of a unique flavor. So in my hand, as you saw it, there was a piece of fresh coconut which I grated into um, flakes, sort of, all right? And that goes on the side and then I added a spoonful of whole chia seeds just for a bit of crunch and then I'm adding some mixed nuts to it. On the side I've got a slice of my keto almond and coconut cake which I have a recipe of. You can check it in the link above. All right? So friends, this is how we bring today's session to a conclusion. Three different ways to innovately spice up and flavor your natural Greek yogurt without the guilt of packing on the pounds. Listen to your body and let your food be your medicine, as I always say. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and see more of such videos where we reduce drastically the amount of carbs and sugar we take into our system. Please do share so that someone else will also be blessed. Until I come your way with another innovation from the Flourishing Kitchen, it's shalom, peace, and life to you. See ya. Thank you.